What's happening everybody? This is John McLennan here and we're looking at blues turnarounds and I can't stress enough how imperative it is as a guitar player to have a lot of blues turnarounds in your vocabulary and uh, under your fingers. So we're looking at a turnaround in E and again what a turnaround lick is is a distinct phrase that goes from the end of the blues and ties you back into the top. It, it turns you around. And so uh, this is a very classic sound, and uh, I'm going to show you, first show you the lick, and then we're going to try practicing it together. So we're, in, we're playing a blues in the key of E, okay? So that's going to have three chords in it. We're going to have an E7, basically, an A7, and a B7. You know, at, at its most basic stages, the blues is just three chords, you know? Uh, the one, the four, and the five. So E, A, and B, seven. Uh, usually all the chords are seventh chords in blues. So here's the lick. If you take an E7 chord, like this, which if you may, perhaps you know your E chord, you can just remove your third finger, and all of a sudden you get a seventh chord. It's immediately sounding more bluesy. So I'm going to slide this all the way up with to put my first finger on the fourth fret. So playing those two notes together. So it went from here to here. Just like based off that basic E7 shape. So I'm going to play for the lick, I'm going to start by playing the low E string. And then what I do is I play hybrid picking a lot and that's where I use my pick and my fingers with the right hand. So I'm going to sort of pinch both of these strings with my pick on the fifth string and my middle finger on the uh, on the third string. So those notes just kind of bloom at the same time rather than strumming them like that. So I've got low E and then I play the high E string, first string. And then I come back and pinch those two notes again. So that all together sounds like this. Then I drop it down a half step. All I'm going to do is move this same sequence where my fingers won't e don't even come off the strings. So now I dropped it down to the third fret, the fourth fret. So second fret, third fret. And then on the last one, I, I will uh, think of this shape, your basic E7, but I'll take my first finger off and I'll do a quick hammer on onto the first fret. It's a real common sound in the blues where you have the flat third being, you know, hammered into the, the major third of the chord. So. You know, and there's, there's a few different ways you can play it. Like you can play and just come back to one note or... So here's the one note variation. And then of course you set that up with a big B7 chord. On the second fret, first fret, second fret, I'm going to go. So let's see if we could try the whole thing together. One, two, three, four, the blues. Thanks for watching. My name's John McLennan. Be sure to click the link below for the tab. We'll catch you in the next lesson. See you next time.